So guys, I'm just about to move my boat up around the corner because I am absolutely sick to death of this mud. Oh, even when I take my shoes off inside, I've got mud on the bottom of my trousers and I'm traipsing it through my boat. And I've got wooden floors, but I'm on my hands and knees all the time. Hey, so, <laughs> so I'm gonna now just move it up a bit. I need to get away from this. Oh, joys of winter. Nicky's also on time. Are you sick of the mud as well, Nicky? Also guys, I don't know if you remember, the other day I sanded this side of my boat where I'd been hit by stones previously going into Liverpool, kids threw stones, and it rusted. So I sanded it down and put some fur tan on, but I do need to get myself some top coat on, well, some primer and undercoat, just to protect it a bit better. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna do that after. The downside of this though, guys, is the towpath now is on the left and the bits that need painting are on the right, which means I'm gonna have to walk down the outside of my boat to get a little bit of protection on. So guys, I've got myself all moored up here and I'm not far to help. Oh, oh, towpath jizz. Yeah, I'm not far now to Ellesmere. And the good thing about where I am, even though it's still muddy, there is concrete underneath it, like a hardness. So it's not as soppy and soft. Anyway, look, so I'm covered in mud and leave even look at my trousers. These are clean on today and I'm already covered in towpath jizz. So now I've had a brew break, I'm going to go back outside and touch up those rust spots. Yeah, I put the cure rust on the other day, but I forgot to put some up to protect them. And I'm going to use this. This is from International, so it's a good make. It's called One Up and it's a primer and undercoat in one. So I'm just going to put that on. It's just to protect it because of the weather and that. And then when I get a nice bright day, I'll put some sort of top coat on there. But it doesn't mean I'm going to be scooting down the gunnels because they're not towpath side, the canal side. Oh, the joys. So I'll just give it a little bit of a white first with some kitchen roll and some white spirit on it and then I just plonk my paint on. Obviously I'm not going to get a good finish at this angle. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of protection until I'm moored on the correct side and then I can give it a little light sand and put some paint on. Yeah, some top coat. So I'm not the only one doing some DIY today. My mate Nikki's just got herself some new batches and she's going to fit them by herself. Being a continuous cruiser and living off grid all year round, we rely on our bank of batteries. Yeah, they're normally charged by the solar panel or by the engine when you're cruising, but these usually need to be renewed every three to four years. It's about minus two and Nicky's in a t-shirt. So we're in Nicky's engine room now. I'm just recording all this on my phone, just in case she gets an electric shock. These are Nicky's and Nicky's. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I won't include that in the video. You moving them? <laughs> Can you the switch up there for the batteries? Yeah. Can you flick the button, that the one, the top one in the middle, very top, up, 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 that one. Flick it down. Always takes me ages to find the right bit. So guys, I'm quite impressed with Nikki fiddling with the batteries there. Yeah, I shit myself just changing the battery on a smoke alarm. Never mind what she's doing. Woo! So she's connected it all up. And now we're going to start her up. So what do we do? I want to start her. Just what? twist the key like you do your car. Come on. <laughs> and it's all working and charging as it should. So she's fitted it all. Look, we're just having a quick little reward, a little Captain Morgan's dark. Yeah, so cheers. Cheers. Thank you for your help. I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did help. I, I gave it was a bit I gave it. I, 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 I was encouraging. Encouraging. Mm. Yeah, so she's going to leave that charge. She's going to leave that charge in now. 
airs on your chest that. Yeah, it needs a mix of that one, doesn't it? <laughs> Good morning guys, I've had a text message this morning from my friend Jackie and for those that have watched the videos right from the beginning will know Jackie spent a lot of time on this boat in the early days yeah but I've not seen her for a good few months now and she's due a visit and she's messaged to say she's coming today but she hasn't seen the sign writing on the boat so I'm really looking forward to finding out what she thinks about it because it's one thing seeing it on camera but when you see it in real life it's much better How brilliant is that? Yeah? I love it! What's your best bit? <laughs> <laughs> and anyway because i've not seen her for ages we're going to go now into ellesmere get ourselves a nice breakfast because we love a good sausage don't Ooh, we jack oh, do. <laughs> so as we were walking into ellesmere i get another text message from some friends that were meeting for coffee so we decided to go and join them <laughs> <laughs> yes. so after nipping out meeting our friends for coffee this afternoon we're only now heading back to the boat and half the day's gone. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> we were good, we didn't go to the pub though. We yeah, we good. didn't. We didn't go to the pub. Hey, how wrong's that? It is really important guys to just get out, get in the fresh air. Even if it's just for a coffee with friends, it's very easy to get hunkered down and uh, not see anyone, especially in winter. Yeah, you've got to make the effort. So it's a bit windy today and I've got Alan here and he's going to be putting me some wood on the doors on the bow of my boat because I've got it all steeled what's been happening is the whole thing is completely insulated however the doors aren't so when it's all nice and toasty warm inside and the cold hits the outside of those doors it causes condensation yes yeah, so we're going to be grinding off the old handles so we can put the wooden panels on the top and we're using my jackery I didn't think it'd run a grinder it's running it no problem <laughs> So with all the sticking out bits grinded off, Alan put all this sort of black Sikaflex sealant stuff on the back of the panels, then put them onto the doors and then use these brackets to hold them tight in place. So I've just put my solar panels onto my jackery because my jackery needs charging because I haven't charged it for days. And even though it's quite windy, I've put a piece of string here to hold them down because they're quite weighted. But yeah, that just hold them to the boat. And I'm still getting now, even on this day, winter sun, 132 watts. So I can't complain about that. That's all right, isn't it? So the two doors have been done one side. So we're just now going to turn the boat. And it's very windy. I hate turning in the wind. Ah. Yeah, but the winding hole's only just round here. So it shouldn't take too long. <laughs> joys of getting on with your jobs eh? So Alan's on the front of my boat because he's going to drop off some rubbish whilst I turn the boat. So we've got both of the wood on the inside, that side, we've got this one here and then this is the last one to go on. And obviously going to have to touch them up with some fresh paint and that. But yeah, hopefully now this will help keep it a little bit warmer in this front bit and stop any condensation. The job's a good one. I just want to show you this as well. This is what I painted the other day. Yeah, so I'm going to have to get some, do them, redo them lines and that grey and the back. There's always something to do in there, always something to do. This is Joy's a boat in. Good morning everybody, it's really early. Yeah, I've got to meet the coal boat at 8 a.m. back at the services and because I turned my boat round yesterday, I'm facing the wrong way. So it's either go 40 minutes up the way, go to the winding hole, turn round and come back or do a reverse. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in reverse. But it's so early, let's get this brew and then we'll set off. So the fuel boat actually couldn't get to Ellesmere because the locks are still shut at Grinley Brook. 
So what they're doing is they've got a van, they've loaded it up with jerry cans full of diesel, coal, wood, sticks, all those sort of supplies that the boaters need, and they're doing van deliveries. So they're meeting boats at wharfs, water points, bridge holes, that sort of thing. Wherever there's a road and the canal goes near, then they're meeting there and they're bringing a wheelbarrow down and loading us all up. So how fantastic. So my slot's 8 o'clock at the water point, and then they're going to sort me out, we he And then they're going to go off and sort all the other boaters out. Absolutely brilliant. I know. So pulled over here, we're just going to get some coal and diesel. Yeah, see, this is a joy of boat in these early mornings. Listen to my throat as well. That's from all my talking last night. I don't half talk. Anyway, I'm going to get rid of all this rubbish, fill up with water, and then I'll be going back. So this is how you get diesel out of jerry cans. What's he doing there? Oh, my poor um wench has been violated. So the washing machine's on and I'm just filling up with water now. That's all my coal on board. I've got rid of all my rubbish. I've took my cassette and I've got loads of diesel. That is the most perfect place to be as a boater. And it's not even nine o'clock in the morning yet. So I was about to head back to my old spot when I saw this big one here. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna get in there. The much better towpath and nearer to the shops. So I've now just moved and got myself moored up and I've got a good location because I'm on rings. Yeah, I'm normally on pins loads of the time and it's much better being on rings because they're not going to pop out in the mud. <laughs> so I'm currently having a sort out of my tub deck here at the front. Yeah, getting ready for trading season. And uh, yeah, I've done some painting. So I put these doors on the other day while Alan did. But because we had to cut them, the wood's exposed. So I've put some primer stuff on there and then I'll paint all that again black make it look nice the paint that we did the other day so when I had them two stone chips we sanded them and put furton on and then now they've just been touched up now they'll if you looked closer you'd see but from a distance once the boat's cleaning that you won't tell you won't tell I mean she's old you're never gonna get her looking immaculate but just trying to do what we can yeah but whilst I'm here and whilst I'm having a fiddle I'm gonna put myself a new pirate flag on the back of the boat Now the thing is, because it's too long and it looks too new, what I'm going to do is cut all the edge and make it look really tatty. It'll end up being tatty over time anyway. Yeah, and then go and put it on the back. Woohoo! And there she blows, me hearty. There she blows. So guys, it's day two of sorting out the front of my boat. Yeah, me bow. Yeah, you've got to keep your front end nice and tidy. So yesterday I had a good cleaning here and I organised all my pirate stuff. I also tidied up all my coal storage, just trying to make it look nicer. Just getting ready for the trading season. And today I'm going to be working again on my flaps. <laughs> yeah, got big flaps these, huge. So we primed this edge yesterday and then today now I'm going to put on a dark grey undercoat and then I can get a top coat on there and just get it looking nice before the season starts. Yeah, the trading season. So for those that are new to the channel, I spend my summers cruising round as the pirate boat, yet yeah, attend lots of canal side festivals and also just randomly pop up wherever I am, just to try and earn a little bit of money to help fund these little adventures. So anyway, let's crack on with these flaps and getting looking nice and tidy. I've got here a bottle of Kraken Roast Coffee Rum. It's absolutely gorgeous, but dead hard to get hold of. Anyway, one of my viewers, Captain Glenn, sent me the money to get a bottle and we managed to get one. 
So now we're going to have a bit. It's for me and Nicky because when me and Nicky were painting the boat, he said, oh, get yourselves a bottle on me. So thank you so much. So we've got a bottle, yeah, took us to go around about six supermarkets to get it. Um, yeah, so we're going to share it now with all the boaters. Yeah, so thank you so much, Captain Glenn. Just a wee, I, I know I like it. A, a, a taste in mine. I don't think I like it. But then again, it's my can... So I've just poured a few little bits here. Now, look at them all waiting. Look at you, They're like tramps on chips. <laughs> look at this. You wetting your lips? <laughs> If you like coffee, that's lovely. Oh, <coughs> hey, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. Right, isn't it? Yeah. So obviously, I'm gonna have a little sip now. Mm. Oh, it's bloody gorgeous. Yeah. Coffee and rum together is absolutely, it's just beautiful. Like Rosie and Jim. <laughs> you can tell we've got the rum out because Julie's just turned up. She can sniff it from a mile away, can't you? <laughs> well, that, that one's mine, so grab one of the ones behind and we get it. Watch the gap, love. Don't want you splitting your kipper. <laughs> <laughs> so ladylike. I know. Give me that. Just wet like the lips. It. Just wet the lips. <laughs> just think, this is bought by Captain Glenn, one of my viewers. Actually, <laughs> you just <laughs> broke the glass. Actually, I quite like it. <laughs> nice, <isn't> it? <laughs> so, the amazing sign writer has been working on Julian Martin's boat, and he deserves a rum after today. <laughs> Highlight all that rhapsody, yeah. I love yeah, there's oh, loads more you. where that's come from. You've, oh, you've earned that today because you're the only one that's worked. I know <laughs> it's glorious sunshine. Thank you very much. Try it, it's coffee yeah. rum. Coffee rum. Coffee rum. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Alan, my sign writer. He did me sign writing, he's done a load of stuff on Julian Martin's boat, and he also did the Aqueduct pub, which I showed you a few weeks ago. Yeah, amazing, amazing artist, so talented. Anyway, he's earned that today. <laughs> so the sun came out, and we had a little chat on the towpath. It was so lovely catching up with all the boaters, like Captain Glenn. <laughs> it was absolutely amazing. But Good morning everyone. Wow, it's so beautiful today. Dead nice and bright and sunny, but it's bloody freezing. And I'm off into Ellesmere now because there's two things are gonna happen. One is I'm meeting one of my viewers of the channel. They've got a little gift for me. Yeah, so I'm gonna meet them. And also I'm gonna meet another YouTuber, another female, and us girls have to support each other, don't we? And she's called the Narrowboat Noob. So let's go and get a nice coffee. So guys, I'm here in Moola and we've just had coffee. This is Narrowboat Noob, Alice. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> She's got a YouTube channel, so please give her a follow. Yeah, she don't... How long have you had your boat, Alice? About a year, just under a year. And she's had to have loads of overplating done on it. And yeah. Oh, it's been expensive, hasn't it? Very. But you can watch her videos, yeah, Narrowboat Noob. So I've really enjoyed this afternoon meeting Alice. Yeah, God, she can drink that woman. She can drink coffee. Yeah, but apparently she's another rum drinker like myself, loves a rum. Yeah, and hopefully in the next few weeks we're going to try and arrange a little cruise. Yeah, so that'll be good. A bit of girl power. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that. Anyway, onwards back home now. It's bloody cold. I'm here now opposite the services at Ellesmere and I've just seen the most beautiful cocker ever. Yeah, peacock. Have a look at this. Oh, isn't it a beauty? The things you see living on the water is just amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. That's made my day. So guys, I've brought you in the rear entrance again, yeah, into my boatsman's cabin, because this is where we tell our stories, isn't it? Yeah, there's the engine room. Got myself a nice little kraken. So cheers, everyone. Mm. Oh, it puts hairs on your chest, that. Right, so I'm going to read you again just a tiny little story. Remember last week I said to you, send in any pirate stories. Just a short little rhyme, something I can read very quickly. So lots of you did that, and thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, the one I'm going to read out today, I've kept all the others to save for future, but the one I'm going to read out today 
is from our narrowboat adventure and it goes a little something like this are you sitting comfortably have you got yourselves a drink are you ready right there once was a pirate named bates he danced a hornpipe for all of his mates but he slipped on his cutlass and made himself nutless and now he's just worthless on dates yeah. yeah so please send them in guys please keep sending them in <laughs> bloody love it anyway i'm going to leave the video there for this week i really do hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give me a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already absolutely free to do and then you'll keep getting notifications when i release this rubbish anyway but before i go i just want to give a big shout out to this week's pirate crew and here they are, me hearties. We've got Tankless Clive. Thanks so much again, Clive. Leslie Hutchison, Murray. Jan and Jeff from Cornwall. Norman Laura van der Handel. Keith Perrin. Show us your logos. What's a logos? <laughs> Angela, Mark Grunenberg, Jim Condes, Jason and Karen Polite. Think polite, I keep, I always get that wrong. Liz and George from Narrowboat Stairway to Heaven, Kevin Carroll from Narrowboat Galti, Narrowboat Buddy App, Liz Stephen, Hosnich. Claire Scarrett, John and Linda from Narboat Cochium, Spider and Bear, Captain Glenn and Eddie Provost. Thank you so much, guys. Also, a massive shout out to my patrons who work tirelessly behind the scenes, give me loads of advice and support. So thank you so much to the patrons. Anyway, that's it, guys. So please stay safe, take care, and I'll see you next week.